Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we're going to be drawing Mrs. Claus from the traditional Christmas cartoon. Um, so here I'm, I'm going to start with the eyes first, and I'm using actually my 4B lead mechanical pencil. And you'll see here that I'm starting with the eye instead of marking out the whole head, marking where the eyes are and the nose. So here I'm just starting with the eye and when I draw other facial features, I'm gonna look at what I've already drawn. Like here I'm working on the second eye. I've, I'm looking at the first eye that I made, trying to make sure that it's about the same size and looking at the proper distance away as far as where to put that second eye. I sometimes will go ahead and start putting in all the shadows and darken things up a little bit but other times I'll just use a 2B pencil which is what I'm using here with the green pencil and put in the darker shades the darker shadows afterwards one thing to note with the eyes always remember that the upper eyelid does cast a little bit of a shadow on the iris so make sure you darken that a little bit as well as about as dark as the pupil. So again, as I draw the eye, the nose, I'm looking to see where I need to place it relative to the two eyes that I had already, already drawn. And I go do the rest of the other features the same way. I'm going to head, I went ahead and added some uh, shadows here. And you'll see later as I go on with this drawing that I made this left cheek a little bit too wide, but I'll just go ahead and erase it um, and re and just correct it later. Just simple uh, parallel lines here to do some shading and I'll shade that, I'll blend that in a little bit better. Sometimes I'll use my fingers, other times I'll use a blending stump or even a piece of tissue or q-tip and that just kind of helps smooth things out a bit. The With any Portrait, I think the eyes are about the most important part of the, the drawing. So pay close attention to that and put a little extra time into it. As you can see here, the eyes are pretty sharp, pretty dark, and I'm trying to keep the others, you know, relatively light compared, compared to it. I'm marking out the hair right now and just very lightly just so I can uh, make corrections as I need to and once I'm happy with it I go ahead and start making it a little bit darker and I'm back to my 4B lead pencil here and with hair with any other surface textures sometimes you it's best to follow the the contour of the object that you're drawing like in this case the hair you can see that I'm curving the lines so that it immediately shows the direction of the hair and also kind of indicates some of the detail. Her hair is white, so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an outline um, and just a little bit of a shade, a little bit of shading there at the bottom. And again, I'm back to my lighter, soft, uh, harder lead pencil. Um, of course, the back part of her hair will be a little bit darker just because it's a little bit further back. And you can see here how I use my finger to just do a little bit of blending in. One thing to note with drawings like this, to make it pop out a little bit more, it's good to have some nice contrast. So you have some very light areas, in this case the color of the paper, which is actually not a pure white, it's kind of a gray, very light, light gray but I'll also have very dark areas such as the shading, the, the dark shades of the earrings and of course the mouth and the eyes. When drawing the rest of the draw, when looking at the other details like her dress for example, it's not necessary to add in, add in a lot of detail because you, what you want to do is focus on the, you want to really focus on the main part which is her face. So here I'm already going to sort of squiggly, sketchy lines, maybe adding some darks just to give it some uh, character as far as her dress. 
and that's pretty much it. I'm just going to fine tune things up a little bit and I hope you enjoyed this drawing tutorial and happy holidays. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.